I wonder if Lefty Cray understood the impact he would have on the fly fishing world when he put fur and feathers to work for stripers. This pattern, the Big Eyed Deceiver, is a larval lace variation that works for any warm water and cold water, freshwater or saltwater fish willing to eat a minnow pattern. I start off with a saltwater hook, size 6. Always pinch the bar before laying down a solid base of good strong tying thread. I prefer 140 Ultra Thread in white or red. Stop your thread just above the hook point and cut your tag end. Reach for a group of white strung saddle hackle and pluck four to six feathers of consistent size and shape from the group. Pair up these feathers so that an equal amount are on each side of the fly. The bottom side of the feathers should be facing out to create a concave V shape coming off the back end of the hook. Many deceiver patterns are tied with long tail feathers that have a tendency to foul up. This pattern utilizes a shorter feather tail, only twice the length of the hook shank. I prefer to tie each side individually, but you can certainly attach all feathers simultaneously if you feel comfortable doing so. Use a few loose wraps to hold the feathers in place before offering tight supporting wraps to secure them to the hook shank. Next, grab a high-quality bucktail and snip a small cluster of fur from the hide. I prefer the kiss method when tying patterns just like this. Keep it simple and sparse. Grasp the tips of the bucktail and weed out any short stray hairs with your other hand. Do the same while grasping the butt ends before bringing it to the hook for measurement. These fibers should be the same length as the tail, tied in over the excess wraps of the hackle feathers near the three-quarter point of the hook. Apply a few securing wraps before using your thumb and pointer finger to press and mold the feathers around the hook shank. Invert your hook before again reaching for the white bucktail to make the belly of the fly. Remember again to keep it sparse, going through the same motions as before to prepare a clump of bucktail. This fur should be trimmed in a way to ensure the butt ends are tied down just behind the hook eye. Part the bucktail tips in the center by pulling half toward you before sliding the rest over the hook point. Careful not to stab yourself here. Transfer the hair to your offed hand and slide the bucktail back on the hook until the butt ends are just behind the hook eye. Begin wrapping with medium tension, adjusting the fur as necessary to keep it on the bottom of the hook. Solidify the fur's position by giving more secure wraps back to the tie-in point. Bring the hook back upright so you can tie in the remaining materials. The old joke around Central South Dakota is that you can use any color as long as it's chartreuse. Begin with a few pieces of chartreuse angel holographic flash. Kiss method requires only two to three pieces be used. Tie them in right on top. Reach then for your fluorescent chartreuse bucktail. The larva lace bucktail colors are spot on for this fly, not very common with other brands of bucktail. Acquire a bundle similar to the size of the belly materials from before. If you stray from chartreuse, I'd recommend blue for a great smelt imitation. Remove the strays and measure for length, again trimming to ensure the butt ends just touch the eye of the hook. Going too long with these will make a shabby looking fly, but just remember, there are flies that catch fish and flies that catch anglers. The fish are most likely not going to care about a few loose hairs, especially when they're hunting this thing down. Loosely grab the chartreuse bucktail and wrap a base down to the hook eye, manipulating the hair to remain on top of the hook before more sternly coming back up to the tie-in point. Whip finish and cut your thread. Larva lace distributes a wide range of molded and 3D eyes that make tying minnow patterns a real treat. Fluorescent eyes are fun, but I'm sticking with natural silver prism molded lure eyes for this particular pattern. Use a piece of scratch paper to hold a small pool of super glue. Take a small dot with your bodkin and place it on one side of the head where the thread meets the bucktail. Rest your 3D eye in its place before giving it a slight reassuring tap. Flip the fly and repeat, 
paying careful attention to the eyes matching on a vertical and horizontal plane. Finally, grab your favorite UV resin, a light or flex formula if you have it, and begin filling the gaps around and on top of the 3D eyes. Use your bodkin to spread it evenly until you are satisfied in the coverage and shape. Don't feel like you need to rush this step. Make sure you're happy with it before hitting it with the curing light. A good dose of UV light and your big eyed deceiver is ready to catch fish. Thanks to Lefty Cray for creating one of the best flies to ever grace salt or fresh water. Ask your local fly shop about Larva Lace products or visit Hagensfish.com for more information and tying videos. If you want to help your customers keep it simple and sparse in their flies, email Lori to order quality products for your shop. It's a great time to stay inside and tie flies. When we do all finally get out and about, tight lines and best fishes from Larvalace.